So what causes IBD? Well, we're not entirely sure at this point. Uh, there's lots of research in this area, but we know that it is a combination of these four factors, but we're just not entirely sure how they all interact with one another. Um, so we know that individuals, there are individuals that are genetically li more likely to develop inflammatory bowel disease. Um, that there are, uh, so we know that there's a gene gene factor. There are actually over 200 genetic mutations that are associated with the development of inflammatory bowel disease. And two thirds of these gene mutations are shared with other immune mediated diseases like psoriasis, like arthritis, celiac disease, uh, ankylosing spondylitis, and type 1 diabetes. So that there are individuals who are genetically predisposed, more likely to get IBD, and they come into contact with something in the environment. Um, there are many um, suggestions as to what the, those some things might be. It could be one or more things, um, but we don't know specifically what they, you know, they can't pinpoint it exactly yet. So, uh, come into contact with something in the environment, and it influences our gut microbiome. So what is our microbiome? Well, these are microorganisms that maintain our digestive health. And there are trillions of microorganisms living within our digestive system, bacteria, fungi, viruses. And uh, that microbiome, there, something happens to that microbiome where um, it is altered in some way. And that alteration can affect our immune response. So that infl inflammation process turns on and we can't get it to turn off or it's very hard to get it to turn off. So there's an interplay of these four factors, but um, you know, research is ongoing related to all of these things, but we, we just don't know specifically you know, the exact cause.